Are you watering your crops correctly? If your plants are getting dried or over irrigated, if they suffer disease or they are not producing at their best, you might not be irrigating them properly. The first step is to set the right emitter layout. When we talk about open field agriculture, you want to achieve a continuous wet pattern along the crop row, right? It's critical then to select the right emitter flow and spacing to provide a minimum wet volume into the soil and consequently a continuous moisture and water supply to the crop's roots. Also, the right emitter layout alongside the proper irrigation practice will avoid any potential affection due to high salt concentrations. So, which emitter configuration should I select in my farm? Well, let's have a look what that depends on. According to the soil texture, the wet bulb pattern will be different. The higher the fine particles percentage, the wider and shallower the wet bulb and the more sandy the soil is, the narrower and deeper it will be. Regarding the flow rate, the higher the flow is, the bigger the set and the volume of the wet bulb. Finally, the irrigation application time is essential as well. So basically, the wet pattern depends on the combination of those three elements. And to maximize the wet irrigation effect, you want to achieve a certain overlapping between each consecutive wet pattern. Additionally, the meters layout should be able to efficiently supply the crop water requirements while reaching the targeted soil depth. There are some equations and software which help you determine the best choice according to what I have just explained. Or you can ask directly to an agronomist about this. Do you need professional advice? Visit our website for more information and don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn.